Hello, and thanks for joining me. I'm Reverend Anna. I'm the Senior Minister of Unity of Austin, and I want to share some thoughts with you about the idea of the loving art of spiritual one-upmanship. So here's a quote from Jesus Christ. It says in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 38 and 39, Jesus said, You've heard it said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist an evildoer. But if anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other also. And this from Mahatma Gandhi, an eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. And from Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., let no man pull you so low as to hate him. The desire for revenge is as old as humanity. When somebody hurts us, our first reaction is to want to hurt him back. The problem is that brute retaliation doesn't ultimately solve the problem. Violence begets more violence and it tends to escalate. We're trapped at a minimum in our own minds and our own upset and fear. Okay, yes, when somebody hurts us, we need to express the pain and then feel comfort and relief. We deserve healing. For that, we take time with a trusted friend who's wise and can who really hear us and love us. And then we need to find a productive way to navigate our connection with the person who struck out against us. Yes, you heard that right. We have a connection with people who hurt us. It's a painful connection to be sure. It can feel like we're chained to them. We wanna let go, but what's the way through? Jesus has a solution. He advises us to turn the other cheek in consciousness. He isn't advocating offering ourselves up for more abuse. He's teaching us that the ultimate method of self-protection is to turn the other cheek. Jesus is showing us how to get out of even exchange consciousness. He recommends spiritual one-upmanship, going to a spiritually more expansive understanding. Jesus advocates asserting our self-respect and dignity. When we turn the other cheek, we're realizing that we, not the other person, have the power we're the one who has the choice. We're not subjugated. When we turn the other cheek in consciousness, we discover that the wise practical actions will come to mind. We'll know what to do and we'll have the courage and the energy to do it. We'll set ourselves free. We'll not hate. We won't be caught in sad, life-draining cycles of violence. We'll be free to love ourselves, love our fellows, and dance with joy. These are the precious gifts that come from practicing the loving art of spiritual one-upmanship, and you deserve all of them. God bless you. Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope that you'll join us on Sunday at 11 when we live stream our service from our sanctuary on Facebook Live on our Unity Church Austin page. Have a wonderful week, and be sure to practice the art of spiritual one-upmanship.